Oh my gosh, this quality is so good. Oh my gosh, y'all have been missing out on the full Adele experience, huh? Hello my sweet friends, welcome back to another writing vlog. Uh, first things first, I don't know if this looks any different to y'all. It looks pretty different to me, but we'll see after I go in and edit it. But you may notice a difference because I am using a real camera. <laughs> this is a new development um, on the channel. This is the first video I'm doing with a camera. And I'm really stinking excited about it. Look at this. I can actually hold my phone now. <laughs> so, I am using an actual camera. Uh, I told y'all I would be updating all my equipment, finally getting some new stuff and not filming on my phone anymore. So, I've never owned a camera anymore. This was like a lot of money. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so we are doing a writing vlog today. We are going to be doing, today I'm going to be focusing on some character stuff. I talked about this in the last vlog because in the last vlog I was creating a plan for Project Orion moving forward, how I want to do things because I took a bit of a break from Project Orion and so like we're getting back into it now. So today I'm going to be working on some of my character stuff, more specifically updating a lot of the character information that I had since it is very outdated now. It's like a few years old um, and I'm moving everything into Scrivener now because I used Google Docs for a really long time. I just got Scrivener and I want to move everything into Scrivener. I'm still going to keep things on Google Docs just in case I ever want to go back there. Um, but they, I'm, it's just going to be the, the, like the outdated stuff on there. I'm not going to really update everything, but I'm going to keep what I have on Google Drive for right now, just in case. So today, I'm going to be working on updating those, uh, like the character profiles that I've talked about. Um, specifically, I have to do update slash move to Scrivener, um, the backstories for Suri, Vigil, Maxis, and Caius, the arcs for Vigil and Caius, the motives for Maxis, Vigil, and Caius, and then I want to try to get done the supporting cast profiles, but those have always taken me such a long time. I'm so excited about having this camera. Oh my gosh. I also am trying out some different um, like video editing software stuff on my computer because before this, I've done everything on my phone. I've never had a camera. I've never had any video stuff on my computer. I've filmed, edited, done everything on my phone. Uh, that's good enough, I guess. Also. Before we actually get started into the writing stuff, I just finished watching Kate Cavanaugh's Milwardi video. Um, right now I'm watching Sarah Labrat's like reaction to it, but oh my gosh, that's a lot of words. And I, since I watched it, well, I only watched it about 10 minutes ago, but I had heard of this. And Milwardi has been around for like 10 years now. I think it started in like 2009. And that's always been so crazy to me <laughs> to try to write a million words in one year. I still don't, my mind can't really even comprehend that. Kate's usually pretty good at that stuff, uh, like succeeding at her challenges and writing a lot of words because she does this full time and stuff. I don't do this full time, so we're going to see if I can do that. This isn't me saying I'm going to do it or anything. Um, I just watched it and I was like, oh my god, much to think about. Also, I'm eating some homemade snickerdoodle cookies from Gavin's grandma. They're so good. Oh, also, I just bought this pretty cute desk lamp and it's like this vintage looking lamp. I've been looking one, looking for one of these for so long and I finally found one at Goodwill for $7. It's so pretty. You can like tilt it and move it. It's just like one of those vintage looking desk lamps and I'm so in love with it. Also, I finally got a laptop stand. It's uh, a little ugly. It's not the cutest thing in the world, but I finally feel like I can like see things. Oh, that's a little close. I don't want that. Okay, so I just opened Scrivener and I'm going to go ahead. I'm gonna set a timer on my phone. Yes, I'm bragging about the fact that I can hold my phone in a video now. I think I'm just going to set like a two minute timer. Um, something I really like to do before I start actually diving into any of the writing tasks I'm going to do for the day is take like two, five minutes, not two, five minutes, two, two to five minutes uh, to 
just kind of reacquaint myself with what's going on. Um, especially if it's kind of been a while since I've looked at it. Uh, I filmed the last vlog maybe a few days ago, so it really hasn't been that long. But I do try to just make sure that I know where I am, where I'm going with this, and just kind of get in the writing mood. Go. So now that the timer is done, uh, I feel ready to jump in and work on some of the character stuff I was talking about. I made myself a little list. Uh, well, I have, I have this existing list, but I made this little list up here. So as I've explained before, I have four different documents that I have for each of the main characters. Uh, backstory, arc, their character profile, and then their motive. I had all of these for all the characters already on Google Drive, but I'm updating everything since those are about two years old now. So I went ahead and up here, I just wrote down the seven major characters and I put a check mark next to the ones that I have all four documents already done, completed on Scrivener. And so I still have Maxis, Suri, Caius, and Vigil to work on. Uh, they're still missing some of their documents. I think I'm going to do Suri first because she only has one document that's missing, which is the backstory. So I think I can knock that out pretty easily. And then I'm probably gonna do Maxis or Vigil next because they are both missing two documents and I, also know them the best. I'm scared about working on Caius because he is the antagonist and antagonists have always been sort of my weak point um, and I know him, I've been with the story for like two years now and so like I know Caius but whenever I have to like sit down and like write it out I always am like none of this makes sense. So like I have all this information in my head but it's kind of hard when I have to like sit down and write it all out. And also he's like missing the most. I think I only have like one uh, document for him. Let me see. Yeah, he only has the character profile. So he still needs the three other documents. Also lately I have been really liking to use timers more often. Um, I know I use those for like sprints and stuff like that, but I've been liking to do it for even stuff like this where I'm not actually writing anything because sometimes I can get sort of distracted and start doing other things, especially when I'm on the computer. So I'm probably, I so I'm gonna start with Suri's backstory. Shouldn't be too bad. I think if I set the timer for like 10 minutes, I think I should be able to get that done in that time um, since I already know all this information. All right, 10 minutes. Hello everyone! My hair is looking a bit a mess, but that's okay. Um, right now, I'm actually in the middle of a stream. We're doing a stream today. Um, so we're doing that. We're about 37 minutes in. I have gotten a lot of progress on the, the character stuff that I was talking about. I'm gonna set this down because I didn't realize how heavy this camera is. So from the lists that I was talking about, uh, yesterday, not yes, <laughs> yesterday, earlier, um, I have now finished Suri and Maxis. Um, Suri's backstory was pretty easy, like I said, and actually within that, like, 10 minute, um, timer thing that I was doing, I also did Maxis's backstory, because that one was also pretty easy, because they're both similar, because Suri and Maxis are siblings, and so their backstory is pretty similar in the areas where they're together because they did get like separated for a time but so theirs were, were pretty easy to do and then since I've started this stream uh, we did I think we've done one sprint so far but in that last sprint we did it for like 15 minutes I finished the motive for Maxis and Vigil and I did Vigil's arc um, I'm starting on Vigil's backstory right now I am 
a little... Vigil is a bit of a mysterious character. He always has been. And I always put off his backstory. Or a certain part of it because like... I don't know. His backstory was very ambiguous and shady and he didn't... I don't even know it quite well myself. Uh, so now I'm forcing myself to sit down and actually think about what's going on. Um, the one problem I am seeing with it is be is where he was born and raised in like a different country from the country that this takes place in, which is Northrim. Um, and it's also like its own continent. And he was born across the sea in another continent that I don't have the history for. And there's some things, I'm trying to just figure out some of the political climate, I guess, of that country, because I feel like there was some sort of a war that drove him out, but I can't really think of that or know for sure because I don't have the history of that place figured out. So, I'm having a bit of trouble <laughs> thinking of his backstory right now. Um, but besides Vigil, the only other character that I still need to work on is Caius, and Again, I'm still hesitant for him because he's the antagonist and I'm not very good with those, but I'm just going to go through and reread the old documents I had for Caius and I guess Visual's backstory as well, but uh, reread those old documents I had for Caius, see if there's anything that is still true, anything that's still salvageable that I can take from it and, and use for this or if I kind of have to like redo everything. I think a lot of it's the same, but again, it was a while ago, so I don't remember what I have changed and what it hasn't changed. Oh my gosh, this is just... I'm so close! Hi! I'm so close to you! Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. Um, I don't remember where I left off yesterday, but during the stream, I finished all the characters. Um, so all the main characters, all the documents that I was talking about, I finished everything and I'm really excited about that because I didn't think I would finish it that quickly. Um, I at least thought I would have to work on it today, but I still do have to work on the supporting cast uh, character profiles, but it's not nearly as in depth as the profiles for like the main characters, but it still for some reason has taken me so long. I haven't worked on them at all today. Let me see, one, two, three, four. So I have nine. Um, people characters in the supporting cast folder um, and let me show you an empty one so this is another template that I have that I use that I made <laughs> that I've talked about um, for the supporting characters I'm just doing some basic information got some like demographic stuff here I like to have a paragraph of like what they do who they are uh, their occupation their name a little brief description of their physical appearance and then their personality, their relation to the main, their relationship to the main character, and then uh, important relationships, and then the chapters where they're first mentioned and introduced. So here's one that is not completely filled out. I just have their name up here, their occupation, um, some of their demographics. I haven't finished everything else. Um, and then at the bottom, I also have a picture of them. Um, I just like to have that down here for reference. I got all my pictures from Pinterest, by the way. Same here. I don't have everything filled out. This is basically what it looks like for most of the supporting character profiles right now. It's like halfway filled out. Um, I have a picture for all of them, which is nice, but I need to go through and like do the like actual meaty parts, like this paragraph and the physical description, personality summary, stuff like that. And I only do these for the like secondary characters, not just like minor characters, but like characters who are somewhat recurring and they have, they play a part in the story, but they're not one of the like main characters. Um, and specifically for this story, I guess I have like seven main characters, even though Orion is the only like main main character, if that makes sense. But since they're like a group and it's like an adventure type of story, they are traveling, you know, you're acquainted with these main characters that are like pertinent to the story and Orion's character growth. So I'm considering them main characters and then secondary characters would be everyone else who is recurring in the story, I guess. And then minor characters, um, I don't have, actually I do have something for them. So you can see over here, I have the supporting cast folder and then I have minor characters. And here I literally just write their name, their age, their occupation, 
uh, where they're from, their origin, and then what chapter they're first introduced. I don't keep a whole, like, thing for them. So I'm actually going to show you here in Scrivener, I'm not going to like show the actual things because I don't want to spoil stuff, but for each character here on the side, like the main characters I was talking about, I've got the same documents, I have the backstory, character arc, uh, character profile, and motive. I only have this one, relationships for Orion, and as you can see it's not even filled out. Um, I don't have the relationships one for other characters though, this is just so I know you know, for her growth and the main character, the main main character's growth. Um, so I have these four for every of all the main characters. And then I also have, like, oh, I always double click it and then I forget you can't do that. I have a picture for their appearance, just to a reference to know what they look like. And then I have their aesthetic, because um, I've made these, like, aesthetic boards in the past. Um, and so each one has theirs up. I just like to keep it with uh, all of these, and I've posted these before everywhere. If you want to go see, like, look at each one, they're on my Instagram story highlights for Project Orion. Um, but yeah, and then I'm not going to show the actual filled out ones, but I use all these templates. I made these templates myself. My, myself. I made these templates myself, um, and so I have the character profile, and it's all these, like, questions, um, character arc. I do have this for all three books since this is a trilogy. Um, character motive, same, all three books. And I also made it to where there are two different motives for each book because sometimes it changes when you're doing, um, you know, you'll have the part one and you'll have the midpoint and sometimes their goal can change. Um, and especially in book one, this does happen. So I have two. This is, well actually that's all of them. The backstory doesn't really have a template because it's ju I just start typing. Um, but here are the supporting character ones, like I said, and I have a few more templates, but they're not character related. So, right now, like I said, I have all I have to do is the supporting character profiles, and I'm trying to figure out I don't know if anyone else has this problem, but I always wonder if I should do it by character or in order of the specific category, if that makes sense. So, you know, like I have to do the physical description of almost everyone, because a lot of them are blank. So I could do like in order of, okay, I'll do this character, fill out everything for this character first, move on to the next character, or like I can do physical description and just get every physical description done and out of the way. I don't know what to do. I always, I'm, I don't know why that's such an issue for me. I always think like that, like, the best way to do it, but regardless, I'm going to work on the supporting cast profiles today, and actually, before I even do this, I have to go do laundry. I was, I went to go do laundry earlier, but the washers at the, the apartment complex, because we don't have a washer dryer in our actual apartment, um, I went to go do laundry this morning, put the clothes in the washer, I, I use the liquid detergent, so I poured that all over the clothes, and I go to pay, and it says they're all unavailable. Which they didn't say that, it only says it after I tried to scan to pay with my phone. So I moved them all to a different washer, and it said the same thing, and I was doing all these... So they're not working. So I was like, okay, fine, I'm gonna be a little pioneer housewife today, and do laundry in the bathtub, which I have never done before. So I'm hand washing all my clothes in the bathtub right now. And I've never done that, so we're, we're gonna see how that goes, but they've been soaking in there for about an hour. So I gotta go do that first, and then I will work on the supporting cast profiles. Okay everyone, it is a little bit later, I've been working on the character profiles. Um, I haven't done too much, I have gotten a few of them done though, I decided to do it by character instead of doing it by the category. So I think I finished like two uh, of the supporting characters. So I still have like five or six more characters to go, but I'm probably going to finish those off camera. And I think I'm going to end this writing vlog here. I am so excited about getting back into Project Orion and 
working through all the things that I need to do. I created a plan. I got a little action guide to do, a little step by step um, for working towards draft three. I still have tons of world building to do. Uh, but we're going to address those in the next writing vlog. But I'm really happy that we got so much of the character stuff figured out, like almost all the character stuff that I was needing to do for my to-do list is done. I am happy, I feel so much better, and I feel like I can actually start to focus on the world building and then the story. Thank you all so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see y'all in the next writing vlog.